Uh, yesterday from the chat, he says, yeah, we're, we're talking about them right now. Let's go ahead and talk about Max Johnson, actually. We'll talk Johnson, and then we'll talk um, then we'll talk KJ Jefferson because I have some takeaways from, from that game as, as, as well. But I thought overall, Johnson played a really good game. He did exactly what he was supposed to. He had that pick six, which was, you know, not great. It was a really good play by the defense. I think there was maybe a missed block by the receiver, maybe, that, that led that DB to come in. It was a little, like, uh, it was like a little screen to the receiver on the outside that the uh, DB was able to pick and go for a touchdown. But even with the pick, he was 17 of 28, 210 yards passing, two TDs, one interception, which was that pick six, and he had 57 yards on the ground. And, and, and man, he made some really nice throws too. It wasn't just a bunch of deacon and dunking. Like you saw him process the defense. You saw some really nice throws in the middle of the field. And there was some congestion. He was able to fit the ball in some really tight spaces, some really tight windows. I may even, I may even clipped a, a video talking about one of these throws and put this on as we're talking about max johnson but yeah overall this played a really really good game right like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put on one of the videos of him and kind of break it maybe not break it down but put on video of, of him throwing a few really nice balls yesterday but he didn't need to take a lot of vertical shots but when he did take the vertical shots like he was able to hit on i thought it was just a really good game plan it was hey take what the defense gives you max like like they're gonna give you some some throws underneath just keep taking it keep taking it then when the vertical shot is there, let's hit it. So he was five and nine with 10 yards down the field or more. So they only had five completions past 10 yards, but two of those were 20 yards down the field. And those were both touchdowns, I believe, right? I believe was, they were both his touchdowns. But still, just, just a great game for Max being able to do that. Downfield throws, didn't take a lot of them. But when you did, you hit on them and you just took the defense gave you. And plus the run game was going, so you're able to, to, it was a really balanced attack for AM, and that really helped Max Johnson really balance attack. And they were able to use some play action as well. He was five of six on play action, not a ton of yards, 51 yards, but had a touchdown on play action. I just thought it was a really good balanced approach by, by the offense overall. And, and when Arkansas brought pressure, I'm sorry, okay, so both of his touchdowns were against pressure, not against, uh, not the deep throws necessarily. But when Arkansas brought pressure, both of his touchdowns were against the pressure of Arkansas. So he didn't have a ton of completions against pressure. The completion percentage was actually a bit low. Arkansas did get some pressure on him, but he was able to make them pay. He was able to get two touchdowns. So he'll take that. Even the even if the completion percentage is low against the pressure and the pressure maybe worked some, he'll take 14 points off off pressure if you are Max Johnson and Texas A&M. Again, 17 and 28, 210 yards, two touchdowns. Only one pick and 57 yards on the ground. I thought he did. Really, he had a really long run too, right? Was that in the? What was that? I forget what part of the game that was in, but that was the spark. And um, you know, there's a chance when Arkansas got that pick six, like they were, you know, there was a momentum shift. I thought it was also a big deal for a to stop Arkansas. We'll get into Arkansas in a second, I promise. But there's also a big deal uh, for them to stop Arkansas's drives, the first few drives of the game when they had to sub field goals. So I thought it was just a really good, well-rounded game, really good, well-rounded approach for Texas A&M. But if we're going to keep on the quarterback position, just to kind of wrap up Max Johnson, made some really nice throws, gave the defense, you know, took what the defense gave him, had that one pick, but was able to bounce back from that and just did everything you were asked to do. Did touchdowns against the blitz, did well play action, you know, hit a few vertical shots when he was asked to do so. So just a really good game for Max Johnson. You got to be encouraged if you're an A&M fan. And I'm going to link, I'm going to put a video in this as well, um, just kind of showing showing the throw. I'll, I'll do that after this, this live, but great job by Max Johnson. So let's move on to from Johnson uh, from, from yesterday. And it's going to show, throw or show one, one clip, the clip I was talking about uh, in the, the live show we were mentioning. And this is a third and nine uh, midway in the second quarter and throws a, throws a dart boom middle of the field. So again, real quick, this is broadcast footage, not all 22. So I got to go a little slow. I do apologize. I just wanted to show one throw of Max, my favorite throw. Arkansas only brings three. Good job picking it up. Remember his eyes are remaining downfield. And watch the throw here, right? Boom. I know it's not great quality. I, I do apologize. Uh, if I had all 22, it'd be better. But look at that throw. Not a big window, right? Not a lot of room for error able to make that throw. Really good throw by Max Johnson. So thank you for watching this video. And, you know, this we, we, we you know, put a, a live, this is our, from our live video that so we just put on uh, this quick clip at the very end. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It really does help. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.